Hello everyone, welcome back again with me on third Kunago channel. Today in this video, I wanted to show you motion analysis of the source field. We will know the direction force at one of the joint. Without wasting time, let's start it. We will know the reaction force in this section and this section. Suppress this net. Click this net and this net. Click add to new folder. Next folder name is Analysis. Rename this map to Reaction 1. And rename this map to Reaction 2. After that, go to SolidWorks Add-ins, click SolidWorks Motion, go to Motion Study, change to Motion Analysis, Active Motor, click this face, sorry, delete this section, Click this face, choose linear monitor, change direction component, change motion parameter to this 10. OK. Click Disable Playback of View Keys and click Disable View Key Creation. OK. Active Force. Click this face. Click the edge for direction. Make force parameter is 1800 Newton. OK. Active contact. Check use contact groups. Click this face and this face. Okay. Active contact again. Click this face. Sorry, before that, check use contact groups. And this face, change material to steel grease. We use the full parameter. Okay, and change material in this contact too. Go to this contact, change material to steel grease. Okay. Click Calculate What the f Sorry, go to Linear Motor
delete this okay click calculate again After done, we can see degree of freedom this resource leave. Right click math, click degree of freedom. Total actual dock is 9, and total number of redundant constraint is 39. And now we will know force reduction. Click result, select force, select reduction force, and select magnitude. Go to analysis folder and click reaction 1. OK. And click yes for eliminate redundancies. See, in reaction 1, maximum force is 1251 Newton. How about reaction 2? Go to result. Select force, select reaction force, select magnitude, select reaction 2, See, maximum force in reaction 2 is 4562 Newton. Let's compare reaction 1 and reaction 2. Go to plot to result. Click an existing plot. Select plot 1. OK. See, at the beginning of the reaction 2, movement the force reaction is higher than reaction 1. But at the end of the movement, the force is close to the move. Let's see the movement. See? I think is the end tutorial. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.